Hello and welcome back all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there. This is Dragothian here. Today we're going to be talking about Chuck, the new legendary infantry commander found on the Wheel of Fortune. As you can see right there on the right, we have a Guan Yu Chuck report versus Guan Yu Leo, which is the golden standard for open field legendary infantry commanders being the quote unquote best. There's obviously other pairs that are really, really good and do really, really well in different situations. But Guan Leo is supposed to be the, you know, the best. So um, the new commander that's out, Chuck Jun Young. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it uh, correctly still, uh, but we're just going to call him Chuck from here on out is um, deep, pretty decent. So, I mean, looking at this, we're going to do a mastery guide on him. Again, we're going to go over his skills. We're going to go over his talent build. We're going to go over his pairings. And again, I'm going to show you really quick before I get started some of the reports that some people have gotten right now by testing and maxing the new legendary commander on the wheel. Now, obviously we don't have the fullest yet because Pakal is not out yet. And to me, spoiler alert, I think Chuck's actually going to be best as paired with Pakal during, um, during rallies. That's just my opinion. If you're going to be using Chuck, I think he's so far from the reports that we're seeing and this being one of them and one of the best reports that I've seen so far. He's going to be best used as a pair to Pakal or as an average open field user. So let's go through here. We've had quite a few folks here doing some decent testing for us in the 100 mil chat. Thank you to all those who have been doing it so far. That's the same report. Let me see if I can find a different one. Here we go. So here's Alex Chuck versus Guan Leo, and it's about the same, a little bit, um, a little bit more severely wounded. But you have to think, uh, take into account. There's a lot of randomized skills for Alex's uh, proccing skill damage, things like that. Here's a Harold Chuck versus Guan Leo doing worse, a lot worse, uh, taking almost 32,000 severely wounded versus 24,000 against Guan Leo. That's another good one. So, so far, all the and all the reports are kind of similar to that, guys. I'm, I'm not seeing anything super crazy there. Um, that's really mind blowing. Like this pairing is going to wreck everything. I just don't have that. I haven't seen it anywhere yet, um, but I also haven't tested it on my own yet. I'll be getting both of these new infantry commanders maxed and doing my own testing. But in the meantime, this is kind of what we have to go off of. So let's go ahead and jump into the Chuck commander view here and let's go over what he does officially now that he is out and about. Um, now this is an alt. This is my main. Why is it only at level one? I've done the spins. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Here we go. I haven't upgraded him yet. I did it on my 307 account, but not on my, not on my main. Okay, so here we go. I've gotten him to 3000 from the first set of spins today. Um, but let's go over the skills really quick again. Then we'll jump into the talent builds and then we'll jump into the pairings. And then I'll give you a quick summary on what I see so far, but obviously there are there's more room to grow and there's another pairing, obviously, that we can't test until the end of this MGE event, which has Pakal on it. So first skill here, Courageous, deals 1700 damage factor to the target if the target has been reduced to less than 30% troops. You have another 300 damage factor for a total of 2000, which puts it on par with Guan cool thing is you can use this commander as a secondary commander. So Guan Chuck was obviously one of the, the natural pairings that somebody was trying to test. It seemed pretty even with Guan Leo. Um, but again, this may be something where you want to test it out against Cav, against other things. I've seen those two, and it's about the same as well. So, so far, nothing special. The second skill here uh, is going to be a passive skill, increasing the attack by 40%, increasing damage in, uh, versus Cav by 5%. Again, very strong. Anytime you have all damage bonuses, those are always a good thing to have. Skill damage, uh, or the second skill here, is going to be increasing your damage substantially. No tankiness yet, though. Third skill, while on the map, troops led by this commander have a 40% chance to gain, um, or to take 50% less skill damage. To me, this is critical to possibly make Chuck work really well with Pakal as a rallying pair. Now on the field, again, there's tons of skill damage. There's Cav, there's archers, there's there's infantry, obviously. Um, there's never a bad time to be taking half skill damage. Um, and again, there's a four second timer on this trigger every single time. It triggers when you receive skill damage and you have a 40% chance to do it. But once it triggers, 
You have a four second cooldown. Fourth skill, Sacrifice. If troops level this commander consist of only infantry units, which is what it should be, they gain 3% up to 15% increased march speed. That's good. With a 100% chance of dealing 5% increased skill damage for eight seconds when attacking. This also stacks up to eight times for a grand total of, whenever it's 100%, it's going to happen every single time, right? For a grand total of uh, what looks to be 40% skill damage bonus. And this takes... Roughly because it's a four second trigger, it's going to take 32 seconds to get to this point. That to me means, again, this is a rally skill to me. Even though it's a march speed bonus and all that good stuff, it has some open field components to it for field fighting. But the skill damage bonus being 100% trigger for 32 seconds, um, maxing that out at 40%, to me that screams pair this guy with Pakal and then use the tankiness of Pakal as primary or you can use Chuck as primary and go heavy on the offense. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to see how this stuff works out. We're going to be testing it like crazy. But to me, this skill screams pair with Pakal, pair with Harold, pair with all these other um, skill damage commanders. Guan, Leo would also be a decent pairing with this. And again, I'm jumping into the pairing portion of it, but you can get my drift. Uh, expertise, vow to, vow to the death is an enhancement to the skill damage taken debuff. So, or buff. So while on the map... Troops uh, led by the commander have a 40% chance to, to take incoming skill damage reduction of 50% and deal skill damage up to three enemy targets in a fan-shaped area times 50. They fixed it, okay? They fixed it. Damage factor is the number of stacks of skill damage bonuses from sacrifice, which again, after 32 seconds during a rally should be 50 times 8. Okay, so that's 400 skill damage. Uh, damage from this attack is reduced by 15% per additional target. It's not a whole lot. But again, it's something, and again, it's an AoE. So this is a, another piece of the don't swarm uh, Pakal slash Chuck like memo that we're trying to get here from what these skills are kind of synergizing towards. I really think Pakal Chuck, Pakal Harold are going to be really, really strong in this game. Uh, maybe not OP like it would have been before, before they nerfed Pakal right off the bat, but it's at least it'll be pretty decent. All right, let's jump into the... Uh, the builds. Let's jump into the talent builds. Again, infantry, versatility, and attack. The website that I use to make my builds doesn't have Chuck up there right now, but the same talent build will be used from Alex as it will be for Chuck. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump over to those. And let's really, I mean, there's really only one because Chuck has nuke. Um, we really want to have one of two builds here. Let me go ahead and make this visible for you. There you go. Here's my open field nuke pairing. So if you have uh, Chuck as a primary and then you have, say, a YSG or um, any type of skill damage like a Sun Tzu, uh, any type of skill damage commander as a secondary, this is the build you're going to want to use. It's basically full infantry tree without the movement speed bonus on the right side. And then it gives you effortless um, and then it gives you some defensive and counterattack damage reduction bonuses in the attack tree. You're forgoing martial mastery because you don't want to nerf the skill damage of your entire army. You don't want to do that. It reduces the skill damage of your pairing. You don't want to have that happen. Now, if you want to go and do that, and maybe it's only um, Chuck plus a non-skill damage commander, like say a, a Charles or a Richard even, um, that would be something that you would want to do. This is the build you would want to use, but again, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Chuck is a heavy skill damage commander. That's where a lot of his damage is going to come from. There's not a whole lot of counter attack damage. There's not a whole lot of normal attack damage bonuses. You're going to be reliant upon that skill damage to be killing your target. So this is a build you can use if you don't pair him with another skill damage commander. But honestly, again, this is the build that you want to use almost exclusively. This is really the one that's going to be used for him. You can do fight to the death as well over here. Um, I personally prefer the extra stats uh, from the infantry tree there, but you can, in fact, do it. You can also reduce some of your tankiness over here on some of these skills on the bottom. But again, I like having those, again, especially considering this guy has absolute, absolutely no defensive capabilities from a skill standpoint whatsoever. <laughs> so you need something to help him out. So hopefully that uh, talent build is helpful. Now let's go ahead and jump back into his pairs. So we kind of mentioned a few of them already. I think if we scroll back up here, 
Uh, Constantine actually would not be bad. Constantine primary or secondary. Constantine primary would be fine. Constantine with Chuck would be a decent pair. Not not top tier or fantastic, but that would give Constantine some good damage. Uh, because right now he's basically a tank, healer, um, you know, debuffer, buffer, things like that. Putting Chuck behind Constantine might not actually be the worst thing in the world. You can certainly go Chuck YSG. I think that's a super squishy, similar to Guan YSG. You can do some serious damage, but maybe not necessarily stay alive very long to do it. Something to think about. If you want to make Chuck more tanky, you can always put Richard behind him, and he will give you some super tankiness, some uh, providing some debuffs as well with the damage reduction and the march speed reduction effects that he provides. Also giving some more tankiness again to damage taken reduced by uh, and counterattack damage bonuses. Those are all really helpful for Chuck. Uh, but again, he's a generation one commander. He doesn't necessarily have all the latest and greatest stat numbers, even though he is a legendary. He needs to be updated, in my opinion, along with a lot of the other uh, generation one commanders to make them more viable. Uh, Charles, you can go Charles Chuck. That's actually a pretty good pair. And again, it's very similar to Charles Harold or Charles Alex or Alex Charles. All of those pairs are very, very strong. Chuck will also work great with uh, Charles as well as a primary. You want Charles primary to give Chuck the extra 30% damage bonus he, he gets from the shield that Charles provides. And again, Charles's shield will provide more tankiness. Again, with the expertise as well, increased defense, increased health, and increased march speed are all beneficial to open field and rallying, really, infantry commander pairs. Alex. So again, Alex is basically another piece of Chuck. Chuck Chuck spawned from Alex, but he doesn't necessarily have the tankiness that Alex provides or the AoE debuff crowd control type stuff. So the Shield of the King, one of the best skills in the game for infantry, um, providing shields not only for you, but to other allies. Also doing um, a circular area, taking 30% increased damage for the enemies. You can have three targets uh, in the circular area getting 30% increased damage taken for four seconds. That, that skill is just so good. Um, and you can pair Chuck up with Alexander as a primary or a secondary. Doesn't matter. Uh, they're both using the same uh, attack tree and infantry tree. So either one is perfectly fine. Uh, there's no benefit to going first or second. Either one's just fine. Guan. Guan Chuck. They're basically... These guys really are basically the same thing. Uh, except uh, Guan actually has the skill talent tree. And then Chuck has the attack talent tree. Um, both are very offensive. Both are heavy nuking. The only difference is Guan needs to be primary. Because if you put him as secondary, you cut his damage factor in half. But again, this is a very super squishy pair. Guan Chuck is going to pump out a ton of damage. But... <laughs> but... Um, super squishy. He can be swarmed down really, really easily. There's no same thing with Chuck. There's no defense. There's no health. There's no shield uh, unless you. Yeah, there's no anything. There's nothing absolutely whatsoever defensive wise about Guan. Same thing with Chuck. Um, Zenobia, you don't want to use Zenobia with Chuck. I don't think that's really going to be the best uh, way to use them. Zenobia is not anything to do with open field. It's strictly garrison. Um, you can also do Chuck Tamiris. That's not a bad pairing, too. A little bit of an off an off type pairing similar to what I do with Charles Tamiris. I think Chuck Tamiris would work fine again because he doesn't have a lot of super generating rage abilities. It's mostly based off of a couple of the talents that you get from the infantry and attack tree, but um, still really good. That would work out really well. And two double double nuking pairs, not too shabby at all. Um, let's see, Leo. Certainly Chuck Leo would provide some tankiness from Leo. There's, there is some AOE damage uh, in there and providing some health or defense is always strong as well. Uh, the rage generation thing would be nice, but I'm, I've not really seen that really work in the game very effectively. So just take that into uh, consideration. And then Harold, Chuck Harold, certainly a good pair. Again, we saw on some of those um, those battle reports that it didn't do so well, but I think it's still a decent pair. Maybe we can do some testing again once I max him out on my 307 main uh, very quickly, and then we'll get some testing reports on that too. I think that's going to be about it. You can maybe do Ragnar, but again, I think Ragnar is just too universal and generic to really benefit anybody. Sun Tzu, if you want to go epic, certainly would work out perfectly fine. Eulji would also work very, very well. Always good pairs with other infantry commanders. Uh, Osman, you could put Osman as a secondary, increasing the troop capacity bonus. Also pumping out a ton of damage factor with first and third skill. Scipio would provide a little more tankiness if you want to. But again, we're talking legendary commanders here. 
We're pumping out legendary commander damage. And then we're talking about putting epics on them. Bjorn. Bjorn. Primary. Would be just fine. Bjorn. Chuck. Could do some damage. 10% skill damage taken increase for the target. You have some damage factor here. You've got some attack bonuses here, although very small. Attack and defense bonuses, again, very small. More direct damage factor here for the fourth skill. And then the expertise boosts the primary to give you 15% increased skill damage taken. So you're buffing everything. This would certainly work. Bjorn and Chuck. Everything else is just non-existent. Again, Pakal is going to be your final pairing. And again, I think this one is going to be one of the premier ones. I think both of these guys together, this is going to be similar to Attila Takeda, and I don't understand why this happens whenever I do that. But um, a similar to Attila Takeda, when we're talking about um, pairs that come out together, rallying-wise, this may be the way to make it happen. Um, I think, again, before the, pre before the nerf, I think um, Chuck and certainly Pakal together were going to be absolutely devastating. I think with the Pakal nerf, that has lowered the expectations and tempered it just a little bit. Uh, but still, I think they're going to be a really, really good pair. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And as my game is loading back up, I apologize for that dropping out. But you get the drift. I think Chuck is going to be worthwhile. I think right now there's nothing unique about him, but we need to wait for Pakal to come out. And if you're a heavy infantry commander guy, this is going to be somebody you want in your rotation. If you're more archer based or cav based, there's not really going to be a whole lot of universality for the, for you. So as far as using either full cav or full infantry and using Chuck as an augment, I wouldn't do that. You can get away with using Guan and get very similar results. I would rather have Alex primary or Alex maxed out versus Chuck if I'm having my so far what I'm seeing uh, by themselves. But as a pair, we're going to do some testing. We're going to give you some more results so that you can make a better decision. But right now, I like Alex better than Chuck. Um, and then Guan, certainly you can get away with 5111 or 5 something something and then more than one hopefully on that fourth skill and be just fine and kind of get a chuck like experience with skill damage talent tree instead of attack talent tree so hope you've enjoyed i'll see you guys next time cheers have a good one and take care